Oh yeah, we got a special guest here in the studio. Always a pleasure when good old Tim Griffin comes to town. Attorney General Tim Griffin, that is. Particularly and, uh, yeah. nosebleed early in the morning. Oh, I love That's it. That's great. And he came bearing gifts. Look at this. I got me a little pen. Go ahead and get we, some we, coffee. We, we, we learned a little something. You said this isn't the way to go. with The single, uh, what, what is it called? It's the single double post. It'll spin around. So you're, all, you're always upside down. So I'm going to work on a double post coming yep. up here in the near future. But uh, you want to come in and talk about an exciting event coming up. Yeah, so look, we have a problem that a lot of people may think is just in bigger cities or other states, but it's, it's a human trafficking problem that affects people all over the country, all over the world, and we're not immune to it. Yep. And uh, a lot of people have heard human trafficking, but they don't necessarily know what it is. But human trafficking is, is through force. I've got a dog here. Hey. Yeah, Shade, get on uh, somewhere. <laughs> force, fraud, or coercion. Mm -hmm. Criminals basically kidnap or manipulate people into forced labor mm -hmm. or maybe even more often uh, force uh, sexual uh, exploitation, mm -hmm. prostitution, what have you. And people are, uh, are literally captive yep. to these criminals. And sometimes it's brazen, like the criminals will snatch people off the street mm -hmm. and put them in a van. But other times it's more subtle where they see someone vulnerable and they say, hey, I'll buy you a meal or whatever. And the next thing you know, they are, they are running that person's life for mm -hmm. sex or for forced labor. Yep. So on the 16th and 17th of October, it's a Monday and a Tuesday, at the State House Convention Center, okay. we're going to have the first ever human trafficking, two-day human trafficking wow. summit. It's free. There's something for everybody who's interested in this issue, law enforcement, uh, health care professionals, Arkansans who just want to be involved. Uh, we're going to have legislative panels talking about the law. We're going to be talking about, uh, we're going to be talking to hotel owners, people that own truck stops because they see a lot of this yeah. back and forth. We're, we've got I-40 and I-30. A lot, uh, lot of problems with people moving up and down the roads. We want you to come. We're going to have food. We're going to have, have free have food. Got to have some food. October 16th, <laughs> 17th, State House Convention Center. You can go to ArkansasAG.gov. Yep. All the details. Real quick, you, you talked about that. It's, I feel like you're going to learn a lot of information, but I want to take an opportunity that we have right now. You talked about those truck stops and other yeah. areas. of. <clears throat> what are things right now uh, for people to prevent putting themselves in a potential situation uh, yeah. this happening to them what are the things they can kind of be aware of well first of all uh, you know as a father of of some young teens um, know know where your young people are mm -hmm. and teach them not to be overly trusting teach them what to do at night teach them not to be out alone uh, you know but but so a lot of it's a common sense stuff but I will say even for law enforcement there are some specific things to look for mm -hmm. with human trafficking that differs from a lot of the other training that law enforcement gets or what you might think. And that's why we need this specific training. Mm -hmm. A very small percentage of our law enforcement has human trafficking specific training. And so this is free. It's two days. We're going to have people from all over uh, and law enforcement will be a big part of that. But it's about raising awareness and educating people, first and foremost, educating people on the problem. If you don't know the problem exists, mm. you can't start to solve it. And with uh, the big artery that we have, I-40 and I-30, we are a part of that national problem because people are being trafficked on wow. our roads. That's kind of hard to believe that that's going on right here yep, in the natural right state. Here. And that's you saying the problem is, is that it is hard to believe. Well, people, we should start believing it because it's going on. So thank you so much for being thank here. You. October 16, 17. Yeah, make sure Monday you check it out. Monday and Tuesday, and register with our office. We're trying to get over a thousand people. Easy. Let's get it done. Let's thank do you it. so much for being thank here. You.